Hello everybody, this is Molly. How are y'all doing this morning? Long time no talk to. Uh, hope everybody's been enjoying themselves and having fun. I'm sure loving watching some of y'all's videos. Um, I wanted to share with y'all today just a quick um, craft project that I did for creating the Crafty Life. They had a swap on there and it was the beach em uh, Beachy Embellishment Swap. This is the card I made for it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, anyway, but let me just go over it with you quickly, show you a few of the supplies. This tag I made, uh, I used just lightweight chipboard. Well, let me back up just a second. Okay, one of the things that you had to have in the uh, swap was three stick pins. Remember, it's a beach thing. So I um, embossed the, uh, some paper, just, you know, kind of plain paper, and with the uh, an embossing folder. And to me, that kind of looked like fishing net or something. And then I stamped it with Versamark and then used some Lindy's, um, and not perfectly on, I just kind of smushed this um, Versamark around. And then I used Lindy's Stamp Gangs, one of her two-tone embossing powders. I hope you can see how gorgeous that was to give it kind of a sun-drenched water effect. Then I took um, some mini little seashells that I had, a bag of, I bought from, I think, Michael's and glued them down. And then I tore a piece of domestic uh, just some fabric and kind of pleated it, you know, glued it down and pleated it on there. And then there's my three little stick pins. Isn't that cute? That one bead is uh, actually a shell. So they're in pretty watercolor shades. And then across the top I just tore some uh, different fabrics and things. And then this um, piece that you see here, the ladies that I was scrapping with were all crocheting these neck pieces and uh, things, real fluffy, roughy neck pieces, you know, like scarves and all. But anyway, so I went, I like the uh, yarn that they use, but I'm so not gonna crochet. But anyway, so I went and bought some from Joann's in these watercolor shades, and it makes a beautiful, um, if you can see it there, or see it there, it makes a wonderful um, tag. If you can just see it, imagine it in the fall colors and all, that'd be pretty. Anyway, so there's the stick pins. The other thing you were supposed to do was make three flowers, beach themed flowers. So here's the first one I did, and I am so sorry, I, uh, Deb, it's kind of huge, if you can see the relationship to my hand. But what I did was a very simple um, technique, again with the domestic, ruffled it up, and then, I don't know if you can see, but there's the lightest shade of gold here, and this right here, if I can just flash y'all there, um, is some gold mesh that I bought from, I'm going to tell you Hobby Lobby when they had it on sale. And I think it's going to make a beautiful accent for fall and the holidays as well. But isn't that pretty? So that just layered in that flower and gave it a nice little mystical touch. And then I used some little copper thread that I had there. And then I took a button. Let me pick this back up. I took a button and embossed it with some Lindy Stamp Gang two-tone stuff. Threw down a bunch of glue and just smushed some beads in there. So I think it made a nice center. Okay. The second flower that I made. I bought some fabrics from Joanne. These just kind of glued down. I used a removable um, glue dot so the ladies could take them off and on. And uh, it's some flowers I bought. Some flowers. Some fabric I bought from Joanne's. And it is the most gorgeous, glittery, loose weave fabric. And of course I used my coupon so I can get it, you know, 40% off. And this was a tutorial I saw online. I'm going to pray that I can find the ladies' tutorial, but uh, anyway, I can show you how to make them if you if I can't find that. The, it, it just came out so pretty and shabby. It sticks back down. And then this last flower is an old pillow sham that I had. And I used the Tim Holtz die and the tattered floral die. And again, just, you know, folded them up in quarters and all. Threw down some, you know, eyelashy type fabric and a button. And that's the third flower. Okay, now I'm going to flip this over and I heard something fall off. No, I didn't. Okay. And the last part of the um, swap was you had to make a third embellishment, any kind in the world of embellishment you wanted to make that was beachy. So what I made was I bought the Martha Stewart um, their, uh, cake icing bowls, you know, in the wedding set, I mean, in the cake section, that Wilton section of uh, Joann's, but she had these seashells. So I used some clay, used some opalescent paint, painted them so you got a starfish and a, uh, whatever the heck that is, silver dollar, sand dollar, 
and then a beautiful uh, big shell. And you see my flowers keep dropping off. But anyway, so the third embellishment they're getting are these. And again, these just pop off this card so they can use them anywhere they want. I'm going to have to put down another blue dot. Now, what I use for the back is they've come out with some oatmeal colored, um, what do you call that? Felt and all. And then this ribbon here, which I thought had kind of a beachy look, was again at the checkout stand at Joann's. I don't know if you can see, but it's got kind of a glimmery gold thing in it. And it was $2.99 a roll or something like that for four or five yards. So that was that. So what they're going to get, it's packaged up like this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Their little beachy embellishment. Hope they like it. Creating the Crafty Life. It's a wonderful place to go. Share some of your talent. See what the ladies are creating. And y'all have fun. Thanks for looking. Oh, wait. Hold on. Last thing I wanted to show you is I took a piece of chipboard. So out oh, here I was saying goodbye and then I keep talking. I uh, took a piece of chipboard and I just slathered on, sprayed like heck, some Lindy Stamp Gang. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my God. So that's the back of their tag. And then on the front of their tag, I took a piece of uh, digital paper that I had, printed it up large, and put it on there. So their tags themselves, once they take the flowers off or the things, those little glue dots just roll off with your finger so they can have those tags. And that's, you know, there'll be that kind of coloration they could look at. Or they can, create, they can cut the die cut out of there for all I care or something. But anyway, hope y'all had fun. This is really it now. I'm leaving. Okay, y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.